So guys, we're on our way to Lahore as Australia will battle Pakistan in a, I think it's a two match test series. This is a big series for both these sides. Obviously Australia's first uh, overseas trip with me in it. Lots of Pakistanis there. Shaheen Shah, Faridi, Norman Ali, Hassan Ali going with a couple of spinners. Australia's still got, I suppose, their probably preferred lineup of Lyon, Hazelwood, Stark and Cummins. And a very, probably, bowler-friendly pitcher. It could be a batting-friendly pitch. Australia won the toss. Of course, you're going to bat first. I feel like spin going to play a big factor in this series. And I think that's the one key difference we're going to see between the last test series we played in the Ashes versus this one is spin is going to be oh so critical to see who's going to go on and win. So you can see these guys coming out towards the middle. Marcus Harris and David Warner for Australia. As a Freedy, Shaheen Shah, Freedy picks up a couple. Hassan Ali got one as well. Now it's me and Matthew Wade coming in at three for 39 with work to do. Hassan Ali, one for four from just two deliveries. Okay. All right, this is gonna be a challenge. I expect it to be reasonably good for batting, but obviously it's quick at the moment. It's coming through quick. There's a bit of pace on the wicket as well. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna like these conditions because they're, they're a big challenge, very contrasting to what you'd see in, I guess, Australia. The ball obviously won't be hooping as much as it would, I guess, in a, in a place like England. The spin's gonna be a factor, but we're seeing some pace really early. And the other thing is, obviously, these pitches, I, I am a leg spinner, has weighed no runs off 16 balls. Um, oh, that is a ripper. That has moved. Um, but I'm obviously a leg spinner, so I'm going to get opportunities with the ball as well to be able to take uh, some wickets. That one coming back in. Okay, challenge still going. And we're able to work that away for one. Oof, what a task. Now Norman Alley is in with the ball. Left arm off spinner, and they got the man under the hood. And this is real pressure that I've had to face for the first time in a significant period of time. Yes. It's a single again. <laughs> Just kept me off strike. No run. Yeah, yeah. And away again for another single. So, so far difficult to really pierce any gaps and get more than one. Oh, yep, that's nice. No mid on allows us to punch it away for a couple. We can pick up two. Oh, through the offside now. Lovely. It'll be a couple more, and it'll go all the way to the boundary. Yes. That'll be a quick single mid off. Able to work their way around, but we'll get home. I've really enjoyed this uh, challenge so far. 10 from 23. Oh, well Haven't found anything to be too easy. The bowling's been good. The batting in response has been pretty good as well. It's all about just working our way in towards the innings. Oh, nice. It's always a bit easier when they don't have someone camping right underneath the hood because you just never know where it's going to go if that's the case. Oh, all right. Bowling. Well, that had a little bit of air time about it, but it's a single and I get off strike once again. I have a feeling this is how this innings is going to go. It's going to be very slow. There's going to be lots of singles, lots of twos, the odd boundary here and there. But it is mostly going to be about survival, which I think really is the beauty about Test Cricket at times. It's the big challenge of getting that nice forward defence in. Oh, gee, that was not a wise choice. I mean, must have been a new ball wicket as well. Obviously, now the ball's a bit softer. It's also become a little bit more difficult to score. Lucky we got a bit of bat on that one. Otherwise, we were in a bit of strife. But you can see that run rate's dropped to 2.86 after it was above three earlier on. Yep. That one is moving in. Way to tap it away for one. Get off strike. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's two there, I reckon. Oh, that fielder's doing a really good yeah, job to run it down. We're able to get the two. Australia have lost Matthew Wade. Oh, that has just narrowly missed the top of off. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah. Better get to the boundary because I was very slow. And it does. Thank goodness. Yes. And again. Just a beautiful drive through the covers, and I'm just able to navigate. It's sometimes pretty good. Just starting to get my eye in a little bit here. Jeez, he's huge, isn't he, Cam Green? He is a massive unit. So the end of that session, 4 for 90, Australia. Shaheen Shah, Freddy has a couple. Hassan Ali has a couple as well. And it's Australia, 4 for 90. Shaheen Shah, Freddy, storming in. Waiting. Yep. And I've hit it straight back past him. It's only going to be the one bit of a misfield. Yep. Oh, nicely done through point. Always well, a bit difficult when you squirt it away through there. We get a couple. What are we? 26 from 70. Doesn't feel like I've been out here for 70 deliveries. Because it's just been such a challenge to get every run. And they are going predominantly with the quick bowlers at the moment, Pakistan. Haven't seen a lot of nominally. Uh, plenty of people in the crowd packing this out. Yep. That's whipped away. Pick up two more. What's with the field, by the way? It's as if they're just trying to stop singles. That's a wide almost. Oh, no, it's not because it's... It is a wide. It's a test match, though. Oh, that's close. I think it's going down leg. It's definitely shaping down the leg side. We can see the impact there. Jeez, it swung quite late. Just missing the leg stump. Thought it could have been umpire's call. And now we see Noam and Ali back on. I mean, he's bowled seven overs, none for nine. So it's not as if we've been able to get him away. Yes. Might be two in that. I feel it's just a bit squarer. Oh, that's off the yep. pad. So that'll be a leg by. Oh, it's been given as a single. Was it glove? Because it definitely didn't sound like bat. Oh, yeah, that's come off the glove. So that was half a chance for the short leg. If he was quick enough. That is a missed, minor missed opportunity. Just had a bit of extra bounce, I think, from what I was anticipating. Shot. Don't need a move. That is glorious. Yes. And again away. And again two. Into that cover gap. Ooh, swing. Into the over four for 125. Oh, I got that quite high on the bat. It was probably a riskier shot than... Would have liked to be, but it's going to be a boundary to finish the over. And that is a 50-run partnership. You can't even see Cameron Green. He's not in the shot. He's that tall. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's cut away. A little bit risky given all of the fielders around that area, but it's one to win the over and I keep the strike. Norman Alley over the wicket here. None for 16. This is, this is pressure at the moment. Round the wicket, or over the wicket with the guy right there. Can't afford to miss time anything. Yep. Oh, that's in the gap. Fielder out there. Don't think he's going to stop it. It's four. So there's certainly an element of risk involved in a shot like that if you get it wrong. End of the over. End of the over. Four for 138. Sweep shot. Pulled it out for the first time today. Pick up one. Always a bit of risk involved, given I'm not a common sweeper of the ball, so I don't really know how often it's going to work for me. It's Shane Shafridi back on. Yep. Got it away, and that will be the 50. 111 deliveries to get there. Six fours in it. 
Jeez, it's been a quest. I can tell you that much. Here's my half century as well. Lots of singles, lots of twos. As you can see, a few boundaries there as well in that half century. Oh, he went early, short leg. It was there. He went so early. If he didn't dive, I think he's had me out. Oh, that's in the air. I didn't mean to. I tried to go along the ground, but I guess we'll get away with it. Jeez, I was, I was panicking a little bit then when I hit that in the air. Thought I've worked so hard, didn't want to throw it away. Yes. Oh, leading edge, and it's straight back to the bowler. Oh, well, well, well. well you can't review that. It's a straight-up catch. Oh, jeez. Great catch from Shaheen. What a knock it was, though. 55 from 117. 5 for 149, Australia. Oh, what are these guys going to do? Cameron Green looks like he's going to go on and make an 80-odd not out. I'm going to get the ball. Lots of fielders around the bat here. Yep. A oh, line gets an early breakthrough. You can see Australia deciding to go the two spin options quite early in the innings. Yep. Oh, run out. Oh, Pakistan batting much quicker than we did in our innings. Yep. Able to go at just under four and over at the moment. Boundaries like that, I mean, they're just continuing our well, well fielded Stark. Oh, in the air for a moment. A line gets a second wicket. He's got them both LBW, so you feel like it's the one that slides back. Oh, that's the dangerous one. I think that's out. He's come down the wicket a long way. We've got three reviews. I think if it's not going down the leg stump, it's out. Because I reckon it was turning back in. Pitching in line, impact in line, up. Uh, Bugger, it wasn't turning enough. Yep, yep. Goodness me, and that's into the gap and runs for Azarelli. Tell you what, though, we are looking good. Oh, this is a run out. This is a disaster. Oh, had to be quicker than that, me? Dano, what were you doing there? You had him all over him. That Cummins on with the ball. Stark, wickets, wickets. 5 for 156, Rizwan and Ashraf in. Uh, so I think we've seen both sides do okay yep. without being brilliant with the bat. That is very close to carrying the mid wicket, that sweep. Yep. Oh, carry to him. It goes just wide of Cummins and it's enough for a boundary. Oh, that's out. Ashui gets rid of Ashraf. Pakistan 6 for 160. Oh, you hate to see it, really. You do. Six for 160. Norman Alley, the next guy in. Oh, he has smothered that successfully. Because that was absolutely either Plum or going to jump in the air. Yeah. Oh, that's mine. We can end uh, a boundary that over. So it's been a very even bowling performance by the Australians. We get to come and Stark, Lion, myself. Hazel with the only one not in the wicket column. As it stands. So I reckon I've bowled about 12 dots to Norman Alley in a row. Yep, yep. Oh, and there's the edge. It's wide of Cameron Green. Keep He'll up. pick up a couple for his trouble. But I feel moral victory to the bowler there. Yep. Oh, Rizwan. I'm not sure how you got away with that. Coming round the wicket now to Norman Alley. Yep, yep. Feeling like we're a little bit more likely to get him here and really force him to play at everything. Oh, well balled. The speed of the fielding from Wade is elite. Stark, Stark, Lion getting the wickets. And this is a very, very even game at the moment. No side in control as it stands. That's a boundary. Rizwan gets a 50 from 112 deliveries, 109 deliveries. Oh, he's come down the wicket and he's hit it over the top of cover. It's past Nathan Lyon. That's a boundary. That's a good shot. Ooh. Catch it. Right. Yeah. That'll do. That's the end of Rizwan. Pakistan out for 230.
231 just hits it back onto his pad and a really nice catch there from Matthew Wade Australia get Pakistan all out and a very competitive innings from both sides Pakistan all out for 231 I had two, Lyon had three, Stark had four, Cummins had one. There is the Australian bowling card. Josh Hazel, the only one without a wicket, and he was quite economically expensive as well compared to the rest of us. We're kicking things off in the second innings. Australia with a 20 run lead, 20, 21 run lead. Yes. As uh, Australia will pick up some free runs here to begin the innings. It's five free runs. They have a 26 run lead. Leading into the second innings. Hassan Ali goes bang, bang, bang. And Australia three for 52. As I make my way out towards the middle. Yes. Swinging in. Gets off the mark. Yeah, yeah. Two? Possibly? No, just the one. Yes. Jeez, I've really just been tapping these singles away. Start off this innings. Six from 26. Yes. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That's two. Wait. Oh, that is infuriating. That was a great shot. Unfortunately, the stumps have prevented the boundary. Yes. Shot. Oh, it's actually going to hold up, I reckon. Will it get there? No, it's well fielded. We'll end up getting just the three. Sorry, Cameron Green. I'm a bit slow. Yep. Another one. Shaheen around the wicket. No. no. Shot. That is absolutely crunched. I just, I just hit it with ease in the end. It just looked effortless. It felt effortless. Catch oh, it. that's a top edge. <laughs> and that's gonna go to the boundary. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Off the back foot. Couple more here. Jeez, it's been a, a slow going innings, hasn't it? Waiting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it has beaten the fielder. Didn't even get a hand to it, it's four. 35 from 83. Wait. Honestly, what kind of innings has this been? I suppose it's been a good one. It's been a one to establish a partnership with Cameron Green. Four for 149, got that lead up to 170. Which of course will be, I guess, a tricky sort of a chase for Pakistan. Anything above 200, as we saw that first innings was neither side able to really past the 250 barrier I think Waiting. and just a challenge with the bat both spin and with the seam bowlers and I think uh, for Australia anyway there's five bowlers from the quicks five uh, sorry five wickets from the quicks and five wickets from the seat spinners as we see Cameron Green now departs that's a fly and a miss Shot. Was short, took it on, found the boundary. This has been quite a good test for me. Not only with, uh, you know, the fact that I've hit a few runs, I've hit a half century in the first innings and I'm on 39 here in the second, but it's been a challenge to go, all right, how good am I in these conditions? How good can I be as an overseas batsman and as an Australian side, are we able to... Am I able to develop, I guess, to the next level as a, an Aussie batsman? Because we have just dropped our form a little bit of late. Waiting. That doesn't quite find the gap. Five for 159. Yes. I want him with wicket. That'll be two. Now there's a little opportunity against Norman Alley, who has been a little bit expensive. He's gone at four and over. Mm. I reckon a bit lucky again that uh, short leg. 
Yep. Oh, it beats mid off. There's a bit of a wait on call. And another boundary. Oh, yeah. That is a huge disappointment. I've played the wrong line. Hassan Ali got it to swing back in. Just a big gap between bat and pad, and I'm out for 46. So disappointing to miss out on a half century there. Six for 167. Is that the last ball again before the break? Jeez. I've done that twice in, in a few tests now. Hassan Ali has five wickets. Australia six for 167. Now what's going to happen here? Cummins and Inglis. Jeez, they've done a great job. Josh Inglis, he's put on 123 runs. Both Cummins and Stark important as well. And Australia, oh, have they taken all the wickets? They have done it. I didn't even need to bowl. And we have gone on to win by 187 runs in the end. I didn't think we were that far ahead, but I was a bit surprised I didn't get a ball in that a bowl in that second innings. Lyon, Hazelwood, Cummins, Stark, and Labashane was given the ball, which was surprising because I guess in the first innings, Labashain didn't bowl at all, and I was given 12.3 overs for a couple of wickets. Didn't mind the fact that I didn't uh, bowl as well. That was that was an interesting development, uh, something a little bit different. But Pat Cummins, player of the game, he took, what did he get, six wickets? No, he got four wickets. And with the bat, what did he do? 29 in the first innings and 42 in the second. Maybe Josh Inglis is... 123 or Hassan Ali. What did he get? Eight wickets in the second innings. Didn't even realise that. What did he take? No, Hassan Ali took five for 68. Sorry, not eight. I was confused by the Norman Ali. Looks very similar. Anyway, Australia got 1-0. They'll retain whatever trophy this was being played for. Obviously winning the series back in Australia because it's only a two-test series. But, uh, a good start to this one.